何も怖くないもう恐れない赤と黒に色々慣れたこの運命と明日の記憶きつく抱いてダンスに Such an utter failure. You're better suited to be her playmate than her protector. <laughs> don't be so hard on him. Jiro's doing the best he can. So why don't you cut him some slack for once? If you say so. Big place. What you saw yesterday was the new yard, but now you're in the old yard. And I guess this area is what you'd call our downtown. Huh, looks like someone's moving in. I didn't know that the building across the street was residential. Can we eat soon, Mimi? I'm starved. Oh, right. Sorry about that. Let's see what we've got to eat. Do you think we should wake up Jiro for breakfast? Yeah! <laughs> I can't feel him breathing. You sure he's still alive, Kataro? He's fine. He's just sound asleep. I bet he's really tired. He didn't get to sleep any during the day yesterday. Doesn't look like he's gonna wake up. Well, I hope he does soon, because we have to find you guys a place to live today. But I thought we'd all just live here together. Don't you think that'd be a little cramped? Mm -hmm. And besides, Grown-ups don't usually move in together so casually. Huh? But it's a pretty nice apartment, don't you think? Yeah. It's small, but it just makes it feel like a secret hideout or something. Thanks, I guess. Oh, oh no. What time is it? I have to go to work. <laughs> Brother did that earlier. He doesn't get modern appliances, so he couldn't figure out how to turn it off.
You're sure about this? Has the Silver Blade really entered the Special Zone? Yes, I have no doubt. And I believe that every other powerful group within the Special Zone is currently trying to determine how best to deal with his arrival. Do you think they plan to gain him as an ally? Or perhaps... their aim is to put an end to him. Hypothetically speaking, if Silverblade and Zellman were to clash in the Special Zone, would the Suppression Team be able to gain control of the situation and put them down quietly? Impossible. The battle between a hero of the Crusade and an 800-year-old Blackblood would be devastating. I doubt that we would have any chance of stopping it once it began. They're too powerful. Then allow me to express my opinion. We, the company, must seize control of Silverblade. We must have him, no matter what the cost. Keeping him in our custody is like harboring a bomb, Chairman. I think it's better to have him in our custody than to hand him over to the affiliate houses. But that's just my opinion. I'd like to hear your thoughts on the matter, as one of the human heroes. Let's just say that I've... Already taken action on this. <laughs> You've always been quick on the draw. I ask this merely out of personal curiosity. But what kind of man is this Silverblade? You are acquainted with him, are you not? That was a long time ago. A lot's changed since then. When I knew him, he was just an immature brat. A child, to say the least. <laughs> well then. I'll leave him to you. Chairman! Are you sure about this? I have my doubts. Janai, don't screw up. <laughs> don't hurt me! Please don't hurt me! <laughs> I promise it won't hurt. It'll be the most pleasurable thing you've ever experienced. <laughs> Prepare for the ultimate physical pleasure. Don't make me chase you. What do you propose we do about the Silver Blade? I assume he'll approach the Sei or Warlock house. That makes sense. They do have a history with him. They met when they were in the Crusade together in Hong Kong. So it is possible that he'll join forces with one of them. Either way, it won't be good for us if they become any more powerful than they are now. This might be a good opportunity for us to show them what the Coven is truly capable of. No doubt about it. So the hero of the Hong Kong Crusade is here. We'll need to lay down the law as one of the leaders of the Special Zone. So this is where I work. Cemetery management is just our front. All right, wait here a minute and I'll see if I can find anything that will help us. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm sorry I'm so late. Looks like nobody's here. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Wait a minute, Miss Mimiko. Where in the world have you been? Hey, Hibari. Good morning. Don't good morning me, Mimiko. Everyone's been in an uproar all morning long because of what happened yesterday. The Chief's been trying to reach you all day. He must have called you a hundred times. <laughs> What's the deal? What have you been doing all this time anyway? Oh, you know. Stuff came up. Things. Everyone went racing off to their assigned affiliate houses a couple of hours ago. You might want to think about joining them soon. Yeah. I guess I should get going. Here you go. Thanks. Sure. More importantly, Miss Mimiko, I have some top secret information that has to stay between us. Don't tell anyone. But apparently, yesterday's incident involved the famous Silver Blade. Oh, right. Did you hear what I said? The Silver Blade! The hero of the Hong Kong Crusade that took place a decade ago? He's the most powerful vampire to ever side with the humans. A legendary man that everyone in our line of work surely knows about. 
They say the suppression team was completely helpless against him yesterday. And they said he was laughing as he wiped out a group of vampires that caused the commotion. And now, they think this Silverblade guy may have made his way into the special zone. And to top it all off, they think that somebody who works for the company actually invited him in. Crazy. Hey, Hibari. Just calm down. And now I might end up coming face to face with him someday. What'll I do? What'll I do? What if he attacks me and wants to suck my blood? Talk about embarrassing. <laughs> What's the matter? Oh, there you are. <laughs> Mimi, call! <clears throat> wasn't he? Uh, owie, owie. That wasn't very nice of her. That's what you get for not staying here like she told you to. Miss Mimiko, is that... Don't say another word. Listen, you can't tell a soul what you just saw, okay? You understand, don't you? I'm not playing around here. Keep your mouth shut. Now I have to go out for a while to run some errands. So please, keep our little secret just between us. We need to lay low for a while. At least until things calm down a bit, but who knows when that'll be. Sounds like a splendid suggestion. Let's go back to your place and catch up on our sleep. No way! My superiors could decide to come by my house to see me, and then there'd be no escape. You poured water on me this morning. And I've been walking around in the sun all day. I can't tell you how incredibly tired I am. I've got an idea! Let's do something relaxing! Huh? I've got it! Here's what I'm going to do. I am going to find you guys a place to live. But I want to live with you, Mimi. No discussion. OK, in the special zone, once you've decided where you want to live, you go introduce yourself to the head of the house that claims leadership of that territory. Those who belong to the same house live clustered together. And then those people who don't belong to any of the houses are considered to be guests of the house that controls the area in which they take residence. Firstly, we need to decide where you want to live. There are three major houses that control different areas of the Special Zone, and the first one the is... The Mainland Faction. Another is the European Faction. And the final group is a coalition. Or to put it another way, there are snakes, dogs, and darkness. Does that about sum it up? How, how did you know all that? It's simply a microcosm of the world at large. Things never change, you know. And since I myself never age, I've come to understand a few things in my long life. You're so smart, brother. It's common knowledge. <clears throat> well then, you'll have to choose between the three houses you mentioned when you pick a place to live. I know you've ruled out one, right? <laughs> no darkness. I see. Those from the House of Darkness who settled here show no signs of progress either. Mimiko! Are you ready to get started? As we look for a place to live, we should treat ourselves to a tour of the Special Zone. Now, let's get going. All right! We're off to explore this special zone! Hey, hold on! Wait for me! Now, this isn't a field trip. Choosing your area is serious business. Okay! I mean it! May I enter now? Hello, Lord Zellman. I've come to report my findings to you. Good. I've been waiting, Sayuka. <gasps> what is this, Zellman? Don't throw a fit. August's crew sent her over to me in an attempt to curry my favor. Please tell me that you restrained yourself. A human prepared for you by the coven? There's no telling what the company will do to you once they've caught wind of this. 
Don't worry, Sayuka. I've made sure to keep her alive. If you find yourself thirsting for blood, then please, summon me. After all, that's one of the reasons why I'm here to serve you, Lord Selman. <laughs> you dare to reprimand me? You've grown annoying as of late. So... What is it you've come to report to me, Sayuka? Well, the executives of the company have entrusted the handling of Silverblade to the Mediation Department. Mediation? That's Janai, then. He was a member of the Hong Kong group. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. And I believe he fought alongside Silverblade in the Crusade. So he'll be on the company's side for sure? No. He appeared at the Marine Bank earlier today to seek a residence. Oh, the Warlock House, is it? But it appears that Kane Warlock refused to see him for some reason or another. And now Silverblade is headed towards the Old Yard. Given this information, most likely is now on his way to meet with Say. That's great. This is getting interesting. However, August Weiker's group is beginning to show signs of movement, and I'm afraid that you will be held responsible if they run amok. I don't care about that. Ignore them. But, sir... I'm over it. Does the Silverblade have a companion traveling with him? Yes. His younger brother, supposedly. I see. Then who's this I sense? Has Say grown so weak that he hasn't even noticed? Talk about pathetic. Pardon me, sir. <laughs> Your report is much appreciated. It was... nothing. I'm going out. But the sun hasn't set yet! You can't go out! A VIP who's maintained his silence for ten years has come to town. There's no way I'm gonna miss his appearance. Please! Lord Zellman, wait! Quite impressive. This is amazing! I can't believe you can buy things here! Wow, they sell pots, clothing, food, you can find anything! I want to live here, brother! A um, Mimiko? I just don't understand why they had to have such a bad attitude about it. I mean, did they have to be that rude? Can you believe the condescending look that teller gave me? That ticked me off! So what if they're a huge bank? They can't treat people like that! Just try not to let it bother you. And I could have used a little more help. I'm doing this for you, you know. Come on now. Let's all just try to calm down a little bit. Oh, uh, would you mind paying for these? <laughs> I guess. Yeah! Kataro! <laughs> get a hold of yourself! You keep jumping like that, this whole boat's gonna turn over! Sorry! As you can see, the float mart is kind of like the old yard's kitchen. You can find pretty much anything here. Can we go in there? Please? Please? <laughs> sure thing. You guys feel like grabbing some lunch? Jiro, are you affected by garlic? Don't move. I think that they have us surrounded. How'd they find us out here? Brother, are you okay? It seems that members of the darkness have come to welcome us to the special zone. Don't worry, they're not the most formidable group I've come across. We'll just try to sidestep them here and draw them away. Get out of here so innocent people don't get hurt. Hey, Kitaro, do you think that you can follow me? Sure thing, brother. Let's go then. We're really sorry about the boat, sir. Just send a bill to the company. Can't you draw less attention to yourself? That's not an option. My only concern is getting you back onto dry land safely. I'm gonna be in so much trouble! <laughs> now I'll see what the Silver Blade's capable of. <laughs> How do I get myself into these situations? Impressive. You managed to dodge all our bullets out on the water. I'm sure that was tiring. What's wrong? 
Was that too much of a workout for you? Oh, that little bit of action was a piece of cake for the legendary hero. No doubt about it. But now I've got you in my sight, so don't make a move. Or there'll be a mountain of bodies caught in the crosshairs. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Shut up, you company woman! If I wanted to, I could shoot you down right now! <laughs> you can relax. We don't plan on fighting you anymore today. However, if you decide to take up residence here in the special zone, well, you may be safe today, but you never know what might happen tomorrow. Is that supposed to be a threat? How about it, Silverblade? If you insist on staying in the special zone, why not join our proud coven? We'd certainly welcome you, if you were one of us. I've heard enough. <laughs> Kataro. <laughs> what are you doing, Jiro? You launched this sneak attack on us, and you've treated us with such rudeness. And now you ask at gunpoint no less that I join you. Your stupidity and ignorance will lead to your demise. At my own hands. I'll mete out your punishment. After that, maybe you'll finally wise up. Did you say your name was Kataro? To be honest, I've developed quite an interest in you and your brother, Kataro. So how about it? Why don't you stay here and join forces with me? Episode 6, The Coven. <laughs> 